Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the General's Test Scoring 580 Pencil. I hope you studied. Well, here it is finally going to be taking a look at the General's Test Scoring 580 Pencil. Uh, many call it the original Test Scoring Pencil. It is supposed to be a soft, dark, somewhat reflective type of pencil for the Scantron testing. You know, when you were in school and you had to like scribble in those little bubbles with your pencil. Well, that's what pencils like this were originally made for. However, it has been said that it is great for taking notes and for doing crossword puzzles and all kinds of goofy things like that. So, why don't we just first take a close look at the pencil and then we'll just do a little bit of writing test and sharpening test with this little puppy. What do you say? What do you say? All right. Well, here we take a look at it close up. The white lettering says, clearly General's Test Scoring 580. And you can see the ferrule here, it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a silverish ferrule, kind of basic, with a basic pink eraser, no flare, no flash. And uh, you can see that we have this black, uh, I would say this is kind of like a glossy or semi-glossy paint job on here and the wood is incense cedar and the point is very short so that's the way it came but I'm of course going to sharpen this puppy and we'll take a closer look at how that looks in a second so I will bring in this sharpener here Okay, now let's take a look at that. All right, got me a nice little point there. And I know someone's going to ask me, hey, Ricks, what kind of sharpener did you use? Oh, uh, this one here says it's an AFMAT. Okay, check my uh, pencil sharpener review videos and uh, you'll come across this particular puppy. Anyway, so let's see how this thing looks on paper. All right, so we're going to take a look at uh, how this thing writes and uh, I'll try to give you some feedback here as to my impressions about this pencil. Uh, you know, people wonder well, why do you bother using pencils when you have pens? Well, I'll tell you, pencils, to me personally, it just gives me more connection to writing. There's just more of a uh, a calming enjoyment to writing with a pencil and then being able to you know remove things that I don't like and then rewrite it now of course if I was going to write a professional letter or something does anyone actually do that anymore I don't know but if I was going to I wouldn't use a pencil of course it wouldn't be very professional but it's great if you're going to doodle it's great if you're going to just write notes um, and it's just great if you just like writing in general. Uh, get it? General? Uh-huh. Okay. So, first off, let me just give you my little impression here by doing my little handwriting thing here. And so this is the General's Test Scoring 580. Okay, I can tell you that it has a really nice tonal value to it, but it doesn't appear to me to be that dark of a pencil. I would say that it is probably comparable to a lot of the pencils that I use uh, in the um, dark tone range, you might say. 
And I'm going to compare this to a few pencils so that you'll get an idea of where this falls. Now, it is smooth. There's no doubt about it. And I find that this is a really good go-to pencil. It, uh, it seems to be um, holding a point pretty decent. Purdy, Purdy, how do you spell Purdy? Purdy, oh, pretty, that's my problem, pretty. Okay, holding a point, pretty good. All right, there we go. All right, so one of the things uh, that this pencil is supposed to do is just have a little bit of shine coming off of it because that's what that scan Tron wants to see. And it definitely does. And you can see the shine coming right off that pencil which I can tell you for drawing purposes, you probably don't want to use it if you don't want to have glare uh, coming off your drawing, which uh, makes the darks look like lights and really messes things up. But for the purpose of writing and for the purpose of uh, doing crossword puzzles and you know some other games that you want to do or just for writing notes or whatever, it's a great pencil. And so let's compare it now to, how about its old buddy, the Test 100. That sounds like a good one to test it with. So here I have the Musgrave Test Scoring 100. So this is Musgrave's uh, Test Scoring Pencil. So we'll put the Test Scoring 100 up against the Test Scoring 580. Apples and oranges. Okay. So here we go. This is the Musgrave test scoring one hundred, and this is the generals. Test scoring 580. All right, now let's see if you can tell the difference here. The Musgrave is clearly a darker pencil, and it is also a smoother pencil. So, if you want darker and smoother, and you don't mind having to sharpen a lot more, you would use this Test Scoring 100 from Musgrave. But if you don't want to sharpen as much as you would with this, then the General's Test Scoring 580 would be the better pencil. And if you're especially, if you're just going to do short notes, sharpening is not a big deal. But if you're going to write lots of notes, like long pages of notes, you may be one of those who don't want to keep sharpening their pencil every uh, four or five sentences. And so, you know, you want to definitely pick your pencil based on that. Now, how would this, let's say, compare to, oh, this Blackwing 602? Well, let's see. We got Blackwing. Okay, 602. Yeah, I hope you can see that there. All right, so hmm, well, the Black Wing six oh two slightly smoother feel to it, in my opinion. It does seem to be lighter. And I'm going to verify that in a moment here. All right. So now let's go ahead and check out the shades here, the tone quality. And we're going to figure out here which ones come out darker and lighter. And um, 
that way you can use that as a means of comparison. So, of course, our guest of honor here is this General's Test Scoring 580 pencil. So let's start with that. And uh, let me use the old Zoomerama here. And I'm going to go ahead and just I always hold it in the back. That's how I usually draw. And I'm just going to lay it down on this drawing paper. That way we get a good idea of the tone of this pencil. And it's going down smooth. That's a good thing. That's our 580. Now let's see about the 100 here from Musgrave, how it compares. I think we've already noticed that it was darker, but we'll, we'll do it this way anyway, and sure enough. Also smooth, of course. These darker pencils tend to be the smoother ones. That's how they get them darker. And you can see it's already exceeded the 580's tone. So you get an idea if you're looking for a darker pencil or just something dark enough, but um, will hold the point longer. Okay, so this is the 100. And of course this is the luxury pencil, the Palomino Blackwing 602. And let's see how it falls in the realm of darkness here. So you have something to relate these pencils to. Okay, so that's the 602. Look at all these numbers here. That's cool. All right, 602 and the 580. I'm getting a different texture here too, so that's that's a little different. Um, You can see same paper but slightly different texture. The 602 has a more coverage and I'm noticing I'm getting more glare of course from the 580 which is its job. It's its job it's supposed to do that. But there you can see a comparison there. That 100 is definitely nice and dark. Now here's the black wing itself, the original well, I shouldn't say original, because the original, of course, was the Everhard um, 602 pencil, which I don't have one of those originals. But when Blackwing came back after Cal Cedar took over, this was the first one they released. We just call it the Blackwing Black. Okay, anyway, let me just go ahead and put that down. And then we have something to compare there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so these black wings fill in the paper fibers so much better than the other pencils do, which is interesting. But I think this gives you a good idea because this is the darkest black wing that they make. And you can compare that to, let's say, that Musgrave, Musgrave, excuse me, Musgrave 100, which is coming out even darker. So at least I think it's coming out darker. But there you go. That gives you a reference. That's the dark, darkest black wing, and then that's the black wing 602, and then you have your test scoring 100, but 
and then the test scoring from generals that we're uh, reviewing in this video. And look at that glare. That's something. Graphite has a tendency to do that. Okay, now that we have this down, uh, what I'm going to do is get an idea of what grades these would be using the Mitsubishi High Uni art set here, which I call my MB testing set. And we're going to find out where this 580 falls in as far as the uh, drawing pencil grades. So, of course, we're going to start with an HB pencil. Here's an HB pencil, which is also would be known like a number two pencil. And let's see if it falls within uh, that spectrum right there. So this would be an HB pencil. Okay, and I can see already that the HB is lighter than the 580. So let's see if the 580 is comparable to a B pencil. Look at the point on that puppy. That's a different pencil sharpener there. All right, so let's see. I'm going to scan, scoop this thing up closer so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is the B pencil now. And let's see how it compares. Hmm. Okay, that's a close one there. I'm not sure that's dark enough. So I'm going to come off of the side here with the B pencil. So we have a way of referencing. I'm just going to go right off the side here. Okay. But it looks pretty close, like we may have a B. We may have a winner. Um, We've already tried the HB, the B, how about 2B? So this is the 2B pencil. And I'm going to have it come off this end here. Oh, that 2B is so nice and smooth. You can just buy Mitsubishi 2B pencils and be happy with that. All right, so I think we found that um, the test scoring 580 pencil is much like a B pencil using the Mitsubishi scoring system here. And you can see for yourself, this is the B. This is the 2B. Okay, this is the B, and this is the 2B. Now take a look for yourself, and you'll see. Let's get in focus here. You can see the 2B is definitely darker than the 580, but the B is right there. So, the 580 is a B comparable pencil. So basically, if you were to write with a 580 pencil, you would get pretty much the same tonal expectation from a B pencil, B drawing pencil. And as far as smoothness, between the two, of course, I would expect them to be the same. Here we have the Mitsubishi B pencil. And then we have, of course, the test scoring. 100. Whoops. Did I say 100? Shame on me. 580. And by the way, as you can see, the eraser works fine. Alright. So there you go. Those two are pretty comparable. Now these ran me about a buck a piece. These pencils here. These, You get like 12 of them for $12.80 um, of these test scoring pencils. So they're about a buck each. It is a good pencil. I like it. It's smooth enough to write with, dark enough to see what you're marking, 
and especially if you're doing your crosswords and stuff. And it's definitely going to go in my collector's kit here. So welcome General's Test Scoring 580. Join the party. And until next time, thanks for watching.